Hi, welcome again. Now we have access to the Unreal Engine 5 public release. Now I'm testing the existing landscape workflow in Unreal Engine 5. Mostly I'm focusing with the open land landscape material and I'm going to test some of the functionality whether they're going to work or not. I have played with the Unreal Engine 5 public release for about a couple of hours now. And for the initial response, it seems quite stable. And the features like runtime virtual textures and the virtual height field mesh is, is working uh, just fine. I haven't had any crashes until now and that's a good sign. Compared with the UE4, still uh, RPT has some delay in rendering the uh, the high quality version. But but uh, honestly, it's a, it's a good move uh, and I really like it. And about the grass rendering, if I enable stat FPS and stat unit, still it's quite costly to render grass. And I if, if I render this amount of grass in Unreal Engine 4, and I could easily hit 120 frames or more uh, but here it's capped to 70 frames if I go full screen I think it will no it's the same yeah it, it will reduce a little bit I, I did a previous video on comparing uh, UE4 and a preview version uh, about this issue if you want to check that uh, check, check the description or somewhere on the screen but this problem is still there if your project rendered a lot of grass uh, with Unreal Engine 5 you need to get it up using a lot of grass uh, and instead of like uh, try to add other other things that works really well with Unreal Engine 5. So that's the key uh, key thing that you need to get from the landscape side and about reflection and yeah everything works just fine and it's really amazing to see something like this. Again a virtual height field mesh is working fine so we can get dynamic displacement uh, with open line it's quite easy but, uh, but there are other tutorials on how to get it done but it involved quite work unfortunately but uh, but we can do it all right now let's talk about rvt uh, and uh, projection and with open land we have a feature called landscape decal so basically you can uh, print something into the landscape just like a usual decal and it works just fine uh, with under engine 5 in previous version it had some issues but under engine 5 it's quite stable and i can yep yeah you can see this this looks pretty nice and if you want to know about this landscape decals, check the description below and I have a separate video on that. Right now, let's talk about landscape deformation. The first, uh, we have recently released the landscape deformation support, so you can have footprints, trail, uh, trails and so on. We also integrate that with virtual height field mesh, so you can have the actual height field changes as well, landscape changes as well. Uh, so let's me enable that. Right here, we have uh, this static mesh, a, a bowl. And now you can see we can see footprints. I can interact with this static mesh. Yeah, I can change this path. Yeah, so basically it's working. So now we can clearly see there are geometry in it, like so not just normal maps, and it works. It works just fine. And uh, yeah, but if you go to full screen, if and there are there are some uh, I don't know whether it's viewable on the video, but there are there's a little bit of flickering happening. But I guess it's not a big deal if you are using a proper game. There there could be uh, like like Nigra FX, maybe some other gameplay items. So in that case, it wouldn't mind to have a little bit of flickering. But I hope they will fix this quite soon. So about yeah, uh, the trail support yeah, it's it works just fine, and and I'm really happy about it because there was no crash and all good. So all the tooling that we have in Unreal Engine 4, it's gonna work just fine. For example, here with OpenLand, we have a tool that works with mega scans. So basically you can easily uh, swap uh, materials on your landscape. For example, here we have a sand layer. I can select the sand layer. I can, I can change the, yeah, it doesn't make sense, but uh, you can do changes like this. Fine. Even I can do displacement, for example, let's say 50. Yeah, like this. So it works like in this case it works just fine so we can see deformation in this case as well so all the tooling works just fine and that's something very interesting to see and yeah i'm really happy about it and overall this is a really good public release i haven't seen any crashes so far and it works fine and if i compare with ue4 and some of the features doesn't work uh, quite well uh, but there are so many things good things in Unreal Engine 5 so nothing to complain here but I honestly think uh, the existing landscape workflow that we have using for now 
needs to change a little bit so this looks like traditional and now if you look at the other demos that epic shows you there are procedural approaches and there are experiments and we need to think about so i think even for landscape workflow we need to rethink about how we can have approach that in Android 85 and maybe build some new tools and so that's what I'm trying to do in the next couple of months and trying to explore what is possible in Unreal Engine 5 and try to get the best out of it. Alright, uh, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.